for a very, very long time have I and many others waited for a follow-up on The Incredibles because it literally ended with a cliffhanger that lasted for a freaking decade. Just to be sure that I didn't make a complete idiot of myself, I need to check it out and it was released 2004. I'm getting really old, but they have finally released the trailer of Incredibles 2 and we're gonna jump right into this because honestly I'm actually really really hyped because I love the first movie and while usually, uh, what are you gonna say, the sequels tend to be very bad compared to the first movie, when it comes to Pixar and the, the animated studios, generally the, the following movies usually are pretty good. I mean, take for, for example Toy Story, I don't mean Cars, because I don't barely remember any of that. But Monster Inc. and many others, of course, I mean, generally I think they are actually all phenomenal. But we can get right into this, because now it's incredible too. And, you know, never look back, darling. But screw that, we can get right into this, because honestly, I'm really excited to be here. Uh, fuck you, Underminer! Mind your own business. That sucks. Superheroes <laughs> are illegal. We want to fight bad guys. I use bad guys. It defines <laughs> who I am. We're not saying you have. What? Someone on TV said it. I was approached by this tycoon. Wants to talk about hero stuff. Help me bring supers back into the sunlight. We need Elastigirl. Bye, sweetie. I watch the kids. No problem. Oh. Supposed to do it, Dad. They want us to do it. I don't way. know that way. Why would they change math? math ca you math. can't count on that. I couldn't have done this if you hadn't taken over so well. I've got to succeed so she can succeed. <laughs> So we I like the bike. I get it, Bob. What the? What? That is freaky. But I can't keep giving him cookies. <laughs> oh my god. Nobody is daddy. What? Oh my god. Properly parenting is a heroic act. Done properly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. I mean, I must say, I really do like uh, Stay at Home, uh, Miss Incredible and all that. Uh, though he seems to be the struggle with Jack Jack. And I don't know about this, but his power, I don't know if it's, he literally have randomized power, like every second is randomized or something like that, which would be kind of interesting, but also kind of wacky. But, but I'm really hyped to watch this, seriously. I'm so gonna see this. Maybe not a cinema, because I have a bit of a... Me and lots of people doesn't really work well together. I get, I get, I get stressed, and then I started to ooze oh, weird smell, and I have these weird flubber parts down here that is making weird noises when there's lots of people around me. They may be not about the flubber parts, but I don't know about the rest. But seriously, though, this looks like it would be a, a really awesome. One. That is what I feel. I mean, the first movie was great, and I think like that this might even be better. I'm, I mean. This is just literally based on the little trail we saw, and I'm just hoping, yeah, putting the bar high. I know it's, you shouldn't do that. You should keep it low so you can be like, Ooh, it was better than I expected it to be, but, you know, I've, I have a good feeling about this. I I, I mean, they, they put in lots of work to this, and seeing these characters, I'm wondering about what will be the new threat, though. In the previous movie, of course, it was Syndrome, with his fucking Omni Robot, Om Omni the Destroyer, or something like that, that literally killed so many supers. I mean, when you're thinking on it, the first movie is actually pretty dark. I mean, we have all of these heroes that, die, that Syndrome got to the island and killed them. That was, that was pretty many. And then, of course, when Edna is talking about, you know, no capes, because lots of characters and heroes died because of that. And not to mention that, uh, from what I read a while back, actually, that one of those heroes 
was one known, uh, well known as Stratogal. And from my understanding, she was like literally like 16, a student and all that, living the happy life and trying to do best as a hero and got sucked into a jet engine and dies. That is pretty dark. I mean, maybe not pitch black, but that dark. I mean, seriously, that, that is pretty twisted in, the, in that sense. And then, of course, Syndrome gets sucked into a jet engine as well. You don't see blood or anything, but obviously at that point it's literally nothing left of him. Especially he he was he had no superpower. Maybe he will return as Syndrome X, and he is a robot. I, I love robots, uh, but I'm really curious though how this gotta be. I mean, see, hopefully we get to see lots of more cool heroes and cool characters, but also some interest about what the villain would be and. Or that, or maybe the villain will be the family life, as Mr. Incredible try to take care of his family, and of course, anyone that have a family, uh, well, I don't have any kids of my own, but uh, you, you, any one of you that had to be living together with family or having of your own, know that what it can be amazing, it can also be not amazing. But you know, so far, uh, what are gonna. Given this trailer, I mean, it really hyped me up. I'm really excited to see this movie, and I think it done the very well job of doing that, hyping me up, and I'm so gonna watch it when it gets released at least. And well, I will be back watching more and talk about more about random things here later on, definitely. So thank you for watching. Remember to comment, share, subscribe, like more it means super much to me. So see you later on. Have a continuous super great day.